So essential oils What are essential oils? Any aromatherapists with us? Uh, the volatile oils from yeah yeah from plant from plants yeah okay how are they obtained it's from by distillation and what is distillation we boil yes. Do you know how to draw that? Uh, I can try. You can try? Okay. <laughs> That's heat, yeah? Looking good so far. I really don't know what happens here. I think there's a small thing where the oil gets collected and then there's an active Yeah, well actually, actually yeah, it drops into a it drops into a separating flask. Um, this is called a Florentine flask but actually nowadays they just call it a separator but you know, it's a and so what happens is that the plant material is in the still the steam breaks the the cells open and releases the the oil the oil volatilizes it doesn't really evaporate it just goes into very fine droplets. Yeah? If it evaporated, we'd need a temperature much more than 100 degrees centigrade. And it passes with the steam and the water into a condenser. And this condenser will have cold water flowing through it to cool the steam down back to water and oil. And the water and the oil dip, drip into the Florentine flask or the separator and the oil floats to the top and they can flow out there and the water can be taken off and then reused. That's essentially, that, that actually is water distillation yeah, because we have water in there and we heat it. If we have steam distillation, slightly different because what we do is we just take the steam from somewhere else and inject it. And then we can use a mixture of steam and water to make steam water distillation. Depends on which plant you're doing. For example, if you're doing... It's, it's more to do with what gives you the best yield. So, for example, for um, um, vetiver, um, lavender, steam distillation is more effective. Yeah? The distillation process for lavender will take about two hours. For vetiver, will take about 48 hours. Yeah. Is that 48 or 48? 48, yeah, for, for, for vetiver. And we'll come on to why that is uh, later in the course. <laughs> yeah. um, if you were doing something like uh, limes, yeah, limes or rose petals, they, they deal better with water distillation, yeah, because they're allowed to move around, yeah and a, you get a slightly cooler temperature, you get less destruction of the odour. So water distillation is used. So it's, it's to do with uh, how much you get, get the yield and what gives you the best odour, which, which system you use. But every, every company has its own little secrets how it does it. But the basic principle is the same. Sorry, yeah. Yes, 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 yeah, that's what that is. That's, if it's steam, 
it, it comes in from another source. You boil the water separately. Oh, I see. Uh, we'd actually, you can do that because that's done with a thing called attars in India, where they they distill oils over sandalwood. So it's like a two two process, but it's not done so much now because sandalwood's just too expensive. Yeah, but you can do that. But usually the steam would be a, like a from a pure uh, a pure source. Yeah, 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 and. What, what they do with this wa water, if they put it back into the system, is called cohabitated. You use the same water again, yeah. So it, and that's done for rose because you get uh, a better yield if you do that. And you need to maintain like a different temperature to keep in every different part of the that you're shooting? Theoretically, if it's water distillation, it can only be 100 degrees centigrade. But with steam, by increasing the pressure, you can get the pressure higher. So for things like vetiver, yet you need pressure because the molecules are very big. So you, to get that volatilization, you, you, your temperature may go up to 115, 120 degrees centigrade. Can it happen with you where the temperature goes too high, it might destroy the water? Yes, water. yes, yeah. And that's, that's one of the problems with, with a lot of oils. Um, vetiver oil, patchouli oil, are very often distilled. This, this still will not be like a stainless steel It'll just be an oil drum. It'll be an oil drum. Yeah, like an oil drum you... Yeah. And they fill it up and they put a fire underneath so the temperature is not very uh, accurately controlled. And the oil that you get has a burnt character. Yeah. Um, some people like it. So according to where you get your vetiver from, yeah, it will have a different a different character, and depending in the su south of India, a lot of this is done here yeah, in drums like this. Yeah. This essential oils are produced by distillation, and there's a second group of essential oils. This is from Stefan Arctander, a very famous uh, perfume book writer who define, actually wrote down a definition for essential oils. The, the another one is expression. And this is specifically for citrus fruits. If you look at the skin of a, a citrus fruit, you'll see translucent cells or translucent sacs. And if you scratch those, then the oil will come out. So you can squeeze the skins to get the oil out, which is where the word expression comes from. Yeah. Or you can, more oftenly, it will be a byproduct of the juice industry. So when they're processing fruits in big quantities for, for juice, the oil by itself gives a bitter character. So they separate the oil out and then sell it to the perfume industry. Some citrus fruits you can distill, limes, uh, bergamot uh, are two examples, but most citrus oils don't fare very well if you distill them because of their, uh, they have mostly delimonene, and delimonene is very sensitive to, uh, to distillation. It's spoiled by distillation. So this expression of citrus fruits Distillation of plant materials. Essential oils will typically make up in a modern perfume something around 15% of the, of the formula. You can make a completely natural perfume. You can make it 100%. I'm not saying that it's limited to 15%. You can use less, you can use more, you can, yeah. But that would be a, like an average if you look at a perfume company's usage over the year, how much essential oil they use compared to around the chemicals.